Okay, so this is the uh, Sonoff uh, SV. This is the safe voltage version. And I'm gonna open it. Um, we are going to use this to open up our garage. So we're gonna attach this to the uh, garage opener. Um, we selected the uh, SV version uh, because we are going to turn this to uh, isolated mode, which means that um, the output, these two uh, contact right here, instead of going to deliver voltage from here to here, uh, from the top to the top one, and the bottom one to the bottom one, this relay is going to be used uh, isolated or as a dry contact, which means that uh, it's not going to deliver any voltage it's just going to short out these two contacts right here. So when the switch is in on position, it's going to make a connection between these two, um, this and this, between these two contacts right here. So we're gonna uh, solder a wire that is going to come out here and here, and we're gonna hook that up to the garage opener. There will be some modification that we need to do to the uh, Sonos SV because by default, the way that it comes in, it doesn't do dry contact or isolated mode. We have to remove these two resistor here, uh, which is basically, let me point out more closely. So this particular resistor right here and this particular resistor here, they both need to be removed. And we are going to power the uh, Sonos SV from these two terminal right here. And I'm gonna be using a uh, cheap um, spare adapter that I have laying around. So this is a 12 volt DC one amp, which is way plenty. I think this Sonos SV only takes about four to six watt of power. And, um, and as you can see here, it can do, I don't know if you can see it, very, very small. It says it can do five to 24 volt between these two uh, pins right here. The top one is the positive, the bottom one is the negative. So we're gonna create the connector to plug into the power adapter, remove these two resistor, turn this thing into a isolated mode. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention also, for isolated mode, we need to short these two terminal here. We're gonna put a jumper that permanently will short out these two and then we'll solder it to make it permanent. Okay, so I made a pretty basic connection here for my power adapter and I have this two pin um, power connector that is perfect to go on to here. I got this from a computer that I don't use anymore. Um, this goes into the case and uh, I take spare parts of it. So we're just gonna plug this in right here. Like, whoops, sorry, the other way. Positive, which is red, goes on top, just like that. And I'm gonna power it up. Okay, so this is now powered up. As you can see, the LED starts blinking almost immediately, like within two seconds. So if it doesn't blink, that means you probably don't have the power correctly. Okay, like I said again, I'm using 12 volt, but you can use anywhere between five uh, to 24 volt, uh, which is really good for Sonos, so that it's pretty flexible. Okay, so I'm going to remove the uh, this resistor right here. So I just take a uh, flathead, very small screwdriver and kind of just you're really actually just destroying it, but you don't want to destroy anything else. So just make sure that you're just trying to remove. There you go. See that? It just came off. That particular resistor. And then this one right here. So this is much easier when you have a very, very small um, screwdriver. And there you go. Just rub it here from, for a little bit to make sure that it's really not making contact. Okay, so I have a piece of wire. This is just, you can use a paper clip, cut it, 
just a, a very small piece of wire to make sure that you can actually go inside these holes. So mine just goes in just like that. And I'm gonna bend it on the other side. Try to bend it to the direction of the circuit path so that it's easier to solder later on, just like that. Okay, now, so this is the soldering part. Um, this should be pretty easy because all you do is just make contact and just melt the solder right there. There you go, one. And then the other one. And two, just like that. Okay, next we're going to connect the other side of the relay, which is going to make that close connection when the um, when the switch is turned on and off between these two cable, uh, it's gonna make a close connection. So I just have, I, I use a computer network cable that I have plenty of laying around and I strip off the end of it. Um, I like to make it go into this slot right here for the Sonos, um, I mean Sonos, SV and it goes up. I loop it this way so that it doesn't get, if I accidentally tug it, it doesn't actually put pressure on the soldering joints. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, solder this permanently here. This one. Two. So this is just a regular power adapter and I'm plugging it in. Okay, stop. And on the other side, I'm gonna plug this in and you can see the LED start blinking right away. Okay, stop. Next, we're going to connect the other side of the cable here. So this is the cable that we soldered in to that side right there, to the uh, output side. The other side of that cable, we are going to plug that in to this two. And I'll point out which two that is. Um, sorry. Talking about this cable right here and this cable, so these two right here. The red one and the white one. These two, when it's shorted together, will open and close the garage. Okay, so as you can see, uh, right now I've already wired uh, the green one and this white cable right here into these two uh, connectors to the garage opener. So at this time, when I press the button on the uh, Sonoff, uh, currently it's, I think it's close. And uh, there you go. And that's open. Okay, so what we do here, uh, we go to the uh, WeLink app and uh, you click on the uh, plus sign for the quick pairing mode. And I'm gonna go up to the device. And I'm going to press the button for seven seconds until the LED turns to Wait. the mode Wait. Wait. blinking Wait. twice. You're, you're recording it wrong. You're recording it vertically. Oh. Okay, so right now, um, I've already pressed the mode, changed the mode of the Sonoff to the uh, quick pairing mode. Uh, the LED should be blinking uh, flash, flash, and then one long flash. So a short, short, long, short, short, long. Okay, so afterwards, um, 
it is going to try to connect or find a device. And after it finds it, it's gonna ask you to give it a name, a register and give it a name. Uh, I'll go ahead and click on complete. I'll give it the proper name later. Press okay. And now it's actually done. It's this last one right here. So if I press on, close it. I have to press it twice. Okay, so it works. The reason why, as you know, garage doors are monetary switches, which means that you're supposed to uh, press it and it switches the uh, the switch together um, closes the switch together and uh, for at least half a second or a second and then the, it has to release it that's one one tap if you would um, the sawn off right now doesn't work like that that's why I have to turn it on and then press it again after one second that will be one tap and then if I want to open the garage again, I would have to click it again, uh, tap it again, and then after one second, tap it again. And that will be equivalent to one tap of the uh, garage opener. I have to do that right now until I can flash my Sonoff with the Tasmoda um, firmware, which is uh, uh, somewhat of a problem right now because I got a newer uh, Sonoff version 1.6 and the, uh, this particular version um, cannot be flashed over the air, so I have to use uh, hardwired to flash, and I'm still waiting for the uh, serial uh, to USB adapter. Okay, hopefully this helps um, somebody who is trying to connect your garage opener to um, your Sonoff. This is this was a, a very cheap implementation. I got my Sonoff directly from China. Um, I think it was like $5 or $6 uh, plus shipping was a couple of bucks. So maybe about $8 total. And um, uh, everything else that I used was spare parts. Um, and now I can control my garage opener using my phone. Uh, by the way, I'm hooking this up to a Chamberlain liftmaster uh, with a connection that looks like this yours probably a little bit different but most garage opener works the same way basically you just have to short a particular connection together for at least i would say half a second and then uh, that will open the garage and then closing the garage same thing just short it out again really simple thank you um, hopefully you like this video and if you do, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe.